we're going to be learning AngularJS version 1.5. So to do this, we have to have some things already done. Like, ideally, you'll have some experience with JavaScript. If not, that's okay. We are going to go step by step. So even if you're just copying what we do, and we will talk about it, you're not necessarily going to have to know everything. But it would be a good idea to do so. So if you actually go to joincfe.com slash learn slash JavaScript, that will be our latest recommendation for a JavaScript course that you should do. In this case, for this video, we said Codecademy because Codecademy has a really comprehensive JavaScript that's free for you to do, you can learn from, you can do it with this course, you can do it separate from it, doesn't really matter, but definitely wanna get some experience using JavaScript. The next thing is we're gonna be using a text editor called Sublime Text. This is sublimetext.com. This is our default text editor. We've loved this one. We've used it for years. Highly recommend this, but this is not the only one you have to use. You can use any text editor you'd like. Basically what this is doing is we're gonna be typing our code here. When you work through Codecademy, if you do, you're gonna type through the code through your web browser. That actually doesn't really matter a whole lot. The Sublime Text, it just keeps our code organized in one place. You don't need Sublime Text to write JavaScript. That's the main thing that you should know. The next part is code. We're gonna be writing code in here. We're basically gonna be making a history of code, right? We're gonna type all of our own code and that code that we type is going to exist somewhere. Now, as I type it, it's gonna exist on my computer, but eventually it's gonna be on something called GitHub. GitHub is a place where we can store our code so everybody can use it. That means that it's open source. If you don't know what open source is, definitely look it up. But since it's open source, that means that you guys have access to it too. So if you go to joincfe.com slash GitHub, you will see popular repositories in here. And if you go in the repository, you will find the triangular one. Once it's actually there, right now it is not there, so you don't see it. Next thing is we do recommend that you install Python and Django on your machine because we are working that direction eventually, um, but you don't need to do it. There's a reason that you want at least Python is because we're going to use Python to emulate a server or a backend service or basically emulate having our website on a real live web page. So to do that, you can go to youtube.com slash coding entrepreneurs, not coding for entrepreneurs, or join cfe.com slash YouTube. That will redirect you here and look for the system setup link somewhere in there. These system setups are also on our website. So those are the things that you're gonna wanna do now before we actually jump into AngularJS. Of course, if you already have that stuff, well, let's go on. 